Good afternoon, Ms. Cumbo, and welcome to Women's Business Television. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Good afternoon, Richard. I'm happy to be here with you. I am the founder and executive director of the Museum of Contemporary African Diaspora and Arts, more fondly known as Mokata in Brooklyn and throughout the international arts community. And you are standing in my baby. This is the institution that I founded after graduating from NYU um, in 1999 after completing my graduate thesis on the idea of building Brooklyn's first contemporary African diaspora and art museum. Tell us how you got started. How did you get to this building? This building was an exciting uh, path for me. I started out, after I finished my thesis, I presented the thesis to Bridge Street Church, and they gave me the incredible opportunity to actually start the museum within the Bedford-Stuyvesant community on the top floor of a building that they owned. And that was an incredible opportunity, and we stayed there about six years. And after the six years, we then moved here to the BAM Cultural District, and we are currently in the James E. Davis 80 Arts Building. Tell me a little bit about your day at the museum. No day is ever quite the same, but it's really a day of consistent relationship building. Um, I spend a lot of time with the artists that we work with here at the museum. I also spend a lot of time with our funders our local elected officials. I spend a lot of time with members of the clergy, um, community members, and the entire nucleus of what encompasses the museum. So it's really a lot of time spending uh, quality time with people who create the types of relationships that allow the museum to grow and develop and foster. Being an executive director of a museum and a mm -hmm. nonprofit, mm -hmm. tell me a little bit about some of your challenges, especially as it relates to fundraising, I would say one of the main challenges, I'm a, a young entrepreneur, so I began this at the age of 22, so I didn't have much experience in the way of human resources. So I would say the day-to-day -day of managing staff, managing a board of directors, independent contractors, artists that rotate within the museum on a frequent basis, interns. It's a huge organization in that way where I'll be responsible for managing maybe 50 people. and so. There may not be 50 people here on site, but at any given time, there are 50 people that are making this museum happen. And I, I think one of the challenges that I have is not having had much work experience prior to that. So I always recommend for people who are interested in becoming entrepreneurs, starting their own business, work within the industry, not just to learn how the industry works, but also to learn how strategic managers and leaders how are they effective and what are they doing in order to make their day-to-day -day and the streamlining of their organizations uh, possible. Tell me a little bit about your programming, your community involvement. Community involvement is everything about what the museum is about and that's why the museum was founded. Um, if you look in many of our communities, um, programming is lacking. So there's been a campaign to tell young people primarily to say no to everything, but we've given them very few options to say yes to. So the museum is about providing options for young people to say yes to. So we have guided tours, we have after school programs in over 10 schools in Brooklyn, New York. We also have a Kid Flicks Film Festival that we do in Bedford-Stuyvesant every Friday night. We have opportunities to uh, provide internships for young people. We also do tours for seniors. We also so uh, right now, most of our staff is in Ghana for a cultural tour, and international travel is something that we also want to further explore, bringing people to different areas of Africa and its diaspora. And so the programming doesn't end, and I think that when you've been doing something as long as I have been doing it, which is 12 years, which is a long time in my generation, but not a long time um, traditionally speaking, but you have to keep doing things within your own organization to reinvent itself. So some of the things we did this year, we started our own television program, we have a new website component, we have a radio program, we have all these different things that we do to consistently uh, change the dynamics of the museum and to keep it interesting for myself.